fingers crossed that I am in focus. I really, really hope so. I cannot tell because the last video I did, I was a little out of focus. So I really apologize if I'm not. I'm getting used to this camera. I don't know everything about it. Anyway, um, this video is going to be about my artwork and just showing you a little bit of my portfolio. I'm actually going to be showing you my uh, um, acrylic. I almost said watercolor. The acrylic paintings that I have done over this semester, I'm not, painting is definitely not my strong suit in any way, watercolor or acrylic. Um, I like sculpture a lot more, but because I just had taken my classes in painting, so I figured that this would be a good way to start off the series of my portfolio, I guess you want to say. And just a little side note, if you ever want to see more of my artwork, I post it all the time on my Instagram whenever I'm in school. I constantly, if I have a new piece, I will show a picture of it on my Instagram. But yeah, so this video is just going to be acrylic and then you'll see a watercolor one and then I'll break it up into like I have sculpture and I have drawing and I have a bunch of them and I have to like gather all that stuff together. Obviously, I'm not a master artist, obviously. I understand that not everybody watching this video is going to like my artwork totally fine. Everybody has different styles. Everybody has different tastes. That's what makes us unique and that, that's what makes us human. And so I understand that. Um, just I would appreciate if we don't leave any rude comments because I know that not everybody will like my artwork. So without talking your ear off anymore, let's get into my acrylic paintings. And I'm going to show you the very first one I did and it's not good at all, but I will show you the last one I did and I definitely feel like I progressed throughout the semester. I said that kind of weird, progressed. Progressed. Okay. Uh, this is the first one that I did. I think it looks absolutely horrible, I'm not going to lie. I'm not proud of this one, but I think it's important to show your growth and keep the ones that you started out with, but I'll just show you um, the last one that I did. This is the first one and this is the last one that I did, so I definitely think that there was a huge improvement. Um, so yeah, but we'll get to that. So this was the first one. I hopefully am taking clips, mini clips of all of these so you can see them a little bit better up close. Here is the first one. This is the second one. I feel like I got a little bit better, but I still have a lot of things off. I have the foreshortening and the mug right here is a little off. We started out um, just like black and white. We didn't want to do color. He didn't want to overwhelm us, rightfully so. So this is my second one. This is my third one. Um, I think we only got one class to do these, which is about three hours. This I think was like one class, which is why there's not even shadows. I don't have any of... The, I have some of the value built up, but not not a whole lot. I don't have any shadows. A lot of places are unfinished and whatnot. But um, slowly improving, slowly understanding, you know. But, like, look at this bottle. Do you guys see the bottle? How, like, off it is? Like, that is not a symmetrical bottle at all. This is my fourth one. I feel like um, the best one so far. There are people walking outside. I hope they don't see me because this is awkward. Um, I definitely feel like I had a, a huge improvement from my first one to this one for sure. Like, I just think there's an improvement for sure. But yeah, I, I would say I, when I did this, I was really proud of myself because I feel like I learned a lot already. And yeah, I was definitely improving. This was my first colored one. We kept it monochromatic, meaning only one color and then black and white. Um, but yeah, I did red. And I mean, it's okay, you know, I'm not, I'm just showing you guys the progression, basically. This one has some damage to it, um, there's like white specks, I don't know if you can see, this is a different color. I don't really like this color, and it just kind of caused me to be a little confused, because what our teacher was trying to teach us is that the closer objects are going to be more saturated, meaning there's more of the color, and then once it recedes back, there's going to be, it's going to be a duller consistency, and it was kind of like... A really big learning experience so as you see this bottle is further away than like this pan or something like that so that's what I was trying to do I'm not really very proud of this one but like I said I keep repeating myself I just like keeping them to like show my progression this was a homework assignment um, I probably could have spent more time on it to be honest um but yeah that's just that's what it is I don't know yeah I'm not really proud of this one either but it's cool it's whatever this one is actually my favorite that I had have done the whole semester, even including my final and the last one that I did. This one, um, yeah, I worked, we had four class periods to work on this one, which is why I think I did the best or why I like it the most, because he really gave us the time to perfect it, to do everything that we possibly could. And that's why I like this one. I think the sym symmetry on the bottles is a lot better than what I used to be. Still a little off in a few of them, but 
just because he gave us so much class time on this one really made me enjoy this piece a lot more. This piece was actually after that one and we only had one class period to work on it which is why it's not very developed but I was really rushing to get everything done but it's not very well done to be honest. This one we also had one class painting or um, one class period to do so again not very developed. I got all the colors in there but uh, again it's not super. This was actually the first, yeah this was the first one that we actually painted like using all the colors like we painted according to what the actual object was before we were just doing everything was going to be red toned but this it's like the pan was um this orange color then the bottles were kind of a blue purple color so we painted according to what the actual color was and then I already showed you guys this one this one's got a skull as well as a few other ones in there but um, this was my last still life that we did still life is kind of just like putting bottles and objects on a table and you paint it that's literally what we did pretty much the whole semester which was kind of boring but it definitely helped me improve um, I mean, I'm pretty proud of this one. It's not my favorite. Like I said, I, I like the other one more. Our final project was to take a painting that someone had already done, like from, I don't know, from, I think mine was in the 1700s, um, and then redo it, kind of, using the, that, the, the, um, methods that we know. So this is the landscape that I chose. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm pretty proud of this one. We had four class periods to work on this one, so I definitely feel like, you know, I put everything that I could into it. Um, I almost wish I would have challenged myself a little bit more on this one and chose more, maybe more of a difficult landscape because I definitely played it safe when I was picking out my landscape because I was like, I've never done a landscape, so I was really nervous, you know what I mean? So I just played it safe on that one. So that was it for my acrylic um, stuff that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up for more of these art portfolio videos. Um, and you'll see the next one will be watercolor. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.